What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and to another roundup episode keeping you up to date on everything heading into SummerSlam. I'm gonna be giving you guys my prediction but also discussing a lot of major news heading into the event. And let's not waste any time, simple, if you haven't just yet, hit that notification and subscribe to the channel to be fully up to date on all of my pro wrestling coverage. With that G plug out of the way, let's get into it and let's round it up. And this first report is certainly one of the best that we heard so far. As WWE SummerSlam is now rated TV 14, just a date before the event, multiple reports indicate that that is the rating the show is being advertised for in multiple cable providers around the United States. And across the board, it looks like viewers are being advised that things might get a little bit edgier than what we have seen over the last couple of years in the WWE. To be specific, if they do go with all of this, this means that this is going to be the first pay-per-view in 13 years that is rated TV 14 for the WWE. Everything else that we have gotten has been PG-13, at least leading into the event. Sure, WWE has gone out there and stepped out of the boundary of PG-13 a couple of times because they always changing plans. But again, the significant thing about all of this is that we are heading into SummerSlam and WWE is already out there throwing the label that we might see something out of the norm that we haven't seen in a while from the company we don't necessarily know what that could be but we do got Brock Lesnar on the show we also got Goldberg we got Roman Reigns Seth Rollins who could easily get hardcore but most importantly we got Paul Heyman who has been a major influence on WWE television over the last couple of weeks according to multiple reports he has been making a lot of changes and it looks like he has been planning things ahead of time and if this is anything to go by we might see something good happen at SummerSlam that could bring a lot of people back into being interested in the product and i feel like this is what they should be going with we know that now we got executive producer for smackdown live and monday night raw eric bischoff and paul Heyman, which we just mentioned and the feeling of these guys taking over is not fully there just yet maybe they can use SummerSlam to get that started to begin a lot of new feuds and to actually show us the change in production that we've been waiting to see or more specifically to give us the quote quote fresh star feel that this whole quote unquote new era should be and i'm putting it in quotation marks because at the end of the day we know that vince mcmahon is still in charge and everything goes through him another thing that i do want to point out about this report is that of course this all could just be a mistake the label for the pay-per-view could be all wrong and we might not be getting the quote unquote attitude era back instead maybe all of these cable providers just made a mistake it feels a little bit odd though because it is not just one cable provider there's more multiple screenshots being shared indicating that others are doing it as well. All of this also comes at a very interesting time because just a couple of weeks ago Vince McMahon was at a conference call and he called out AEW for the product they've been giving us indicating that TNT Network is not gonna allow that on television but at the same time they also indicated that WWE was gonna keep it sophisticated but was gonna be pushing the boundary a little bit more by giving us more controversies, more shock moments and pushing the product to be a bit more edgier than what it has been i'm certainly interested to see how this event plays out and maybe wwe ends up going this route where of course the television remains to be pg-13 because that's what the network truly wants while in the actual pay-per-view they could push the limits because after all they got their own network which they're selling their subscriptions no matter what and pay-per-view buys and cable providers is not necessarily a priority anymore if a tv for team pay-per-view is gonna bring in more subscribers then why not do it it makes total sense let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on all of this guys and of course i will keep you up to date and come tomorrow we're gonna find out whether or not it's really tv 14 moving into some other news and not necessarily a surprise but it looks like vince mcmahon is upset he's not happy with a certain tag team and that is the uso which if you guys haven't heard yet they are not allowed to be in canada for SummerSlam. they're not booked for SummerSlam anyways, but all of this does seem to have become an issue. As Rinsight indicated that Vince McMahon is not too thrilled about it, so Jimmy Uso's recent arrest was a big deal considering the details that it was about and the fact that he continued to get arrested for DUI. So clearly that has become a problem, and reports indicate that it has brought a lot of negative attention on them and they already weren't booked for the SummerSlam car, even though WWE planned on it. Reports indicate that they also 
might not be allowed in Canada for not just SummerSlam but Raw and SmackDown the following week. So us hearing that Vince McMahon is upset with them over the traveling issues is not necessarily a surprise. We also got to keep in mind the fact that it looks like the Usos are also responsible for other teams not being at the event such as possibly the Revival. Cause it's fair to say that if there was going to be a tag team match possibly at the pre-show it was going to be this one as they've been feuding for quite a while and they're nowhere near to be done apparently. Moving into some other news and it's still very interesting someone that doesn't have a match at the event is Roman Reigns even though he is all over the poster and advertisement. One of the rumors that we already discussed was the fact that WWE was more than likely going to be doing some type of angle with him Roman Reigns and Rowan. WrestleVotes recently also indicated the following that there were discussion about adding Roman Reigns versus Buddy Murphy to the SummerSlam car after the angle that went down on SmackDown Live this week. Sources indicated that it wasn't decided just yet but it remains a possibility as we get closer to the show tomorrow night and I don't know about you guys but I would absolutely love to see a Roman Reigns versus Buddy Murphy match. This not only gonna give Buddy Murphy the spotlight that he needs and more specifically the spotlight that he hasn't gotten ever since he was drafted to SmackDown Live from 205 Live. I mean it's incredible he hasn't even had a match just yet so making your SmackDown debut at SummerSlam against Roman Reigns literally the biggest superstar in the WWE right now it's by far the best debut that anybody could have. There is of course no way that he's gonna come out victorious but at least we get to see him wrestle and it will continue the storyline from this week because there's almost no way that he's not gonna want some revenge after what Roman Reigns did to him. Moving into some other news and a match that is going to be happening at the event is Bray Wyatt the Finn versus Finn Balor. This is by far one of the most anticipated matches especially because it's gonna be giving us the re-debut of Bray Wyatt. So far we only been seeing him on television in amazing segments taking out legends and also backstage goofing around in the Firefly Funhouse. He is of course said to have an amazing SummerSlam and WrestleVotes even added to all of this by indicating the following. Small tidbit for all the Bray Wyatt fans out there. He had the largest selection of merchandise at the SummerSlam Superstore. Multiple masks, multiple different shirts and a buzzer puppet. All of this obviously shows that the marketing team is really behind Bray Wyatt and WWE is really going all out with all of this. Trust me at this point it seems like they're just gonna sell everything cause take a look at this. They are literally selling an evil Vince McMahon puppet. So I guess the main takeaway from all of this it looks like the machine that is WWE is behind Bray Wyatt and like really behind him so I hope that they keep it going. The last thing that I want to discuss with you guys in this roundup is my quick predictions for other matches that are gonna be happening at the event. And let's start off with the big one Universal Champion Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. I don't necessarily believe in myself but I do feel like Seth Rollins is gonna recapture the championship. He has literally been decimated by Brock Lesnar over the last couple of weeks that it almost makes it feel like WWE just wanted to do of that so that at the end he get the last laugh. The Raw Women Champion Becky Lynch versus Natalia in a submission match. I wouldn't bet against Becky Lynch right now. So I'm going for the men. WWE Champion Kofi Kingston versus Randy Orton. This is by far gonna be one of the most interesting one because we are talking about Randy Orton here but I feel like Kofi Kingston has been in such a role and WWE has done such a good job with him as a champion even though some people might disagree. I am going for the fighting champion that is Kofi Kingston. Smackdown Women's Champion Bayley versus Ember Moon. This has been one of the least interesting matches heading into the event because the feud hasn't been that great. I would love to see Ember Moon win the championship but I don't think it's gonna happen yet. I'm going with Bailey retain. Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon with the momentum that KO has right now there's no way he's losing this match. Trish Stratus versus Charlotte Flair. We're probably gonna get Charlotte Flair picking up the victory in this one and then at the end Trish Stratus will probably quote unquote pass the torch even though we kind of seen that before too many times. Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler. I kid you not I hope that Dolph Ziggler 
wins the match but there's no way in hell he's gonna get spear into tomorrow united states champions aj styles versus ricochet i'm going for aj styles on this one finn balor versus the finn bray wyatt of course bray wyatt will win it and last but not least for the cruiserweight championship i'm going with drew gulag retaining against only lorkin so that is it guys that is what i got for you in this roundup episode if you enjoy you already know make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications to be fully up to date on all the latest we're in the world 100,000 subscribers i'm going to see y'all dig it